Yo, I'm back. I guess. Okay, I went to my adventure, uh, an adventure that I was supposed to go on. Uh, I came back in like five days, and then I decided to go on small adventures because um, I, the reason I came back is because I realized that I genuinely do not want anything for myself, and I did not enjoy it. Like I did not enjoy the hardships or you know doing the bullshit that I was doing, and I just said, why should I continue this rubbish? And I'm like, no, I've given up my word. So I'm going to go on more adventures. So I went on small ones, two days, three days, five days. Um, I went and met with some people. I went with some people. I went alone. And I realized that I really do not want anything for myself. And not only that, I'm very, very sure that I do not want this life. Okay, multiple times during whenever these things happened, like whenever I was in the middle of the jungle, or when I was lost somewhere, or when I whenever I had to stay and you know had to take on these hardships, whatever hardships they are called, I'm like, if I ever am forced to take to do this, to do what I'm doing right now, if I'm forced to do it every day, I just end my life. I'm not even going to bother trying to live, trying to survive. Basically, what happened here is that my entire survival instinct died completely. Okay, and I just re- like this. It's a realization. I always knew it, but I realized that that I'm ne- never going to have this a survival instinct. I have no interest in survival. I'm not going to try and survive. Only reason that I am alive is because life is pretty good. Life is very good actually, and I have no real problem with it. But if it goes below this, I've always said if it goes below ninety five percent of what it is right now, I'm going to end it. I'm not even going to bother. And I, I thought, why do people bother? Like, why do they bother living such hard lives? And the worst part is, like, when I was speaking to people and I was seeing poor people living in their element and all, they all admit that life is hard, and yet they have kids, and yet they continue their lives. I really believe that if the world, the if the suicide was a thing, ending your life was a thing, the world would be a much better place. Because we'll all be living great lives, okay? At least top class life, lives that we want to live. So that's basically what I realized that I don't want anything for myself, and my survival instinct is dead, and I'm basically nothing inside, and I'm never ever going to force myself to live. I'm only going to live at the level that I'm living now, and I'm not going to take myself to a place where, or uh, you know, where I'm forced to experience things that I don't like just not going to happen like people climb the Mount Everest and it's tough and all and apparently they say they feel a certain satisfaction I don't think most of them have really thought of that like maybe there there is a certain satisfaction but I think most of them are just doing it because everyone else does that thing most of them just you know everyone just believes that if I do this then it's a cool thing to do and they, and of course you get applaud and of, your, of course you get love and most mo- and people don't understand when to give up. Like I got, I understood when to give up. Within five six days, I was out of that jungle. I was in in this jungle, and I just got myself out, and it was not pleasant for me. I realized when to give up. Maybe some people have an appetite for adventure, but I don't think most people do. And most people who do this, most people even continue life. They just don't understand when to stop, and therefore they are unhappy. I realized when to stop. I realized my limits. Okay, and that is what I'm going to live by. I know the dimensions of life between which I can live. I uh, the, the way I live currently, I cannot live better than that. Like for example, if you give me ten million dollars and a house and a bungalow and a car, I won't be able to live like that. If you live, if you take me below this, I will not be able to live like that. So either ways, I'm not going to be. I have realized my bandwidth of life. So that is what I learned from this adventure. And you too should do it. Even though I didn't like it, I I recommend you do it. So that you realize these things, you may know a lot of things about your life, and a lot of your, lot of my fans are say, a uh, lot of my followers say that, you know, um, we know and we don't want to live life, but you have to realize these things. It's very important. Believe me, it's made a difference in my life, in the way I live. I appreciate where I'm, uh, what I'm doing right now. I appreciate where I eat, where what I, where I sleep. Everything is has been appreciated. So, yes, go for it, go for it. And by the way, this is this is my new look. This is Neil Anand two point and I will be coming up with um, something called Nihil Ed, okay, Nihil Anand Education, where I'm going to teach you practical things, where I'm going to teach you how to deal with your life problems. Earlier, I was a little bit airy. I used to talk about depression. I used to talk about mind, spirituality, meditation, etc. But now I'm going to be speaking about real things that matter to you. 
all right so that's it thank you and uh, see you soon